In this section, we are going to discuss a very important concept called scope of a variable. When you say a scope of a variable or function, it means where is it available. Imagine this situation where we have function A and function B. Now we declare a variable inside function A and assign a value, for example, let i is equal to 9. Now let's try to display or in a way access variable i in function b. Let's try to console.log the value of i. Now we are going to call function a first and then we are calling function b. So when it gets executed, variable i is declared inside function a and b will try to display the value of i. As you can see, i is not recognized in function b because the variable is declared inside function a and we are trying to access it in function b. So here we can say that i variables scope is function a only. In other words, i is locally available to function a or i is local to function a. And this is what a scope is. Scope means lifetime or availability of a variable. Of course, in this case, if we want to make variable i available for all the functions, what we can do is we can take this variable i out of function a and declare outside. Now let's assign i is equal to 100 in function a. Now we have i variable declared outside any function. It means i is globally available. Let's run the code and see the output. As you can see that i is declared on top, assigned 9. Then again we change the value of i in function a and display in function b. And that is executed without any error and that too with value 100 which is assigned in function A. So now we know what is local scope and what is global scope. Here I is available for all the functions we have in this piece of code. When we are working with ES6, let and const have block scope. Let's also take an example to understand how the block scope works. Let's declare variable i using let. I will say let i is equal to 9. Now I'm creating a block using curly brackets. Remember a block can be a loop, an if condition or any other block. Now inside this block I again declare let i is equal to 20. And also displaying value of i here in the block as well as outside the block. Now in this code, we have i declared two times, but with a block, so that has a different scope. Let's run this code now. As you can see, it is not giving any error. There are two different values referred because this is a separate block. So i exists separately for this block. In ES6, we have block scope. In ES5, that is, if you still use the var keyword, then the behavior will change. If you declare a variable using var keyword, then it follows the function scope 
because of hoisting. Hoisting we will discuss in the next section. In this section we are discussing about scope of a variable. But a function can also have scope that is the availability of a function may restrict. But this topic we are going to discuss when we discuss about closures in JavaScript in detailed section of functions. In short, we have block scope in ES6 and scope of a variable is nothing but the availability or the lifetime of a variable. So far, the example we have used, we have used the let keyword. But we can also do the very same thing using const keyword. In short, const and let behave similarly when it comes to the matter of availability. That is the scope of a variable or a constant.